Hi friends, welcome to Anna's World. Today is the third episode in the history series. So today we are going to talk about, I mean discuss about how human civilizations first developed. So first there were hunter gatherers. I explained about them in the second video in history. They turned into primitive farmers, which made led to the creation of villages. When people invented iron tools, large scale food producing farmers came. That means they made so much food. We can't eat that much food in one week. Then next it led to surplus food available that means excess food available too much food so because of the too much food they led to it led to trade that means they gave to other people who did not have food producing capabilities next because of trade villages became towns and cities so the in towns and cities led to greater civilizations that is how civilizations came. So the earliest civilizations developed between 4000 and 3000 BCE when the rise of agriculture and trade allowed people to have surplus food and economic stability. That means they will have a good amount of food and a good economic stability so they won't get poor and rich suddenly. Next, civilizations first appeared in Mesopotamia which is now in Iraq in 4000 to 3000 BC and then in Egypt okay. the, in this valley civilization was created about 2500 BCE China in 1500 BC Central and Central America in 1200 BC Central America means the Aztec Empire or others which stay there the civilizations ultimately developed on every continent except Antarctica who can live in that cold frozen wasteland all civilizations have certain characteristics these include large population centers which are places in a city or a civilization where many people exist for example huge urban center in Teotihuacan which is a confusing name which is not bad for our tongue in modern day Mexico which had 200,000 just then which is big compared to them not now which it is small a number a small, a small number mohan Jodhera of the indus valley civilization is another example of large population centers now the second one monumental architecture and unique art styles that means having a different art style and architecture every place like the ancient monuments at great zimbabwe you can see the photos they are just walls and beautiful houses ne the next is which is the third shared communication strategies which are which may include spoken languages alphabets numeric systems etc like so like we can use them to just communicate and just cooperate with each other instead of using sign language which I can't even understand. Next, systems for administrating territories. All civilizations rely on the government administrative bureaucracy. Better example is ancient Rome. Even then they had a great government, very developed government. Next, the fifth one, a complex division of labor. Different people perform the specialized tasks. That means they were different, they had different jobs, including farmers, merchants, doctors, religious leaders, and artists, etc. That means when before these jobs were made, there were only farmers for food only. There were no other things like paintings, etc. So that's why there are this many things. 
next the sixth time which is the last one the division of people into social and economical classes the first is the economic division which was rich people middle class and poor rich people were people who were rich you can easily guess the next is middle class who are between poor and rich that means they have they are not respected that much but they still have money and finally are poor they are like beggars they just don't have much money the next is social division so priest the first one had a great respect and importance in society next kings they were very powerful they they were the leaders of special places or kingdoms that's why they have kings they are powerful next traders and farmers they traded with other kingdoms and, and also made food for their own kingdom farmers made food for their own kingdom and traders traded with other kingdoms they would get rich and they would be not hungry because of farmers and traders so that's why they were a bit respected than slaves and the last one slaves and other people these people were treated very cheaply that means they were used like uh, people they were like used like plows they plowed places for their land over owners yeah that is very bad but now slavery is abolished so be happy so this is for today about human civilization bye